All right, President Donald Trump today announcing he is establishing, this is kind of interesting, a president's strategic and policy forum. Now, we don't know how often they will meet. What I did notice is that it's kind of like a who's who of, of, of big deals. Steve Schwartzman, of course, of Blackstone, Mary Barrett, the chairman and CEO of General Motors, Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase and Company, Larry Fink of BlackRock, Bob Iger of Disney. I'm looking for Gasparino. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> how, nope. about, how about Scaramucci? I don't see of Scaramucci. Skybridge Capital is not there. No. Daniel Jurgen, uh, vice chair of IHS Market. Jack Welch, our friend. Uh, that's a pretty big crowd. But now, uh, seriously, we don't know others that might be there. But and people who didn't like him necessarily, right? I mean, Jamie, right. Jamie um, Diamond. Remember that? Ridiculous. Three of those people were not big fans. Uh, McNerney of Boeing, um, the former chairman of Boeing. So what did these kind of things prove? They actually produced nothing. I mean, President Obama had a bunch of them. He had back, back here, I led it, this segment with it. So and we did a little alert thing. I know, but you actually agree with me on the break. I did? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Ralph. Uh, you agree. Actually, you didn't just agree with me. You were the one that put it in my head. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. So, well, just... so you're saying... And other presidents, seriously, have done this sort of thing. Obama did it right before right. he went into office. Clinton did, uh, yeah, both sure. Bushes. I mean, Ronald Reagan was right. famous for this sort of stuff, although there were short meetings. Right. <laughs> what did they prove? It just, you want to, you want to what? You want to get them in that inner well, circle? Well, you just want the business community ideas. to know that you're not insane. I mean, Obama, his, his thing was to wait, make, wait, 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 to know you're not insane? To, to think you're not totally insane. Because this doesn't come up in the perspective. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that's what it is. Uh, and here was Obama's hurdle. That he was a socialist. Uh, that was really when he got right, in there in 2008. People were really talking. This guy is, you know, Reverend Wright is his spiritual mentor. You know, Bill Ayers yeah. is, his, is his economic guru. I mean, but remember, Bill Clinton had to deal with the same thing. He was some, another tax and spend liberal, and Bob Rubin was the guy. Some of it, but Bill Clinton literally was more quote unquote new Democrats right. actually existed back then. So right. even though he was liberal, he was more conducive to. To, uh, but those to, early days were crucial to him to convince the CEOs right. and the investment community he wasn't going to be right. And I think crazy. Donald has the same. Has, President elect Trump, I keep calling him Donald, has the same um, issue. I mean, and but a little different. I mean, he, let's be be clear. Jack Welch publicly came out and said he can't support him because of that that that, that, that the uh, Billy Bush video. Or, right. Or but tape. then he came around. He came around. Came around. Said net net, I'll support. Yeah. Him. Uh, but a lot of these guys. I mean, Jamie Dimon. You know, they rumored that, I don't know, I can't remember what, what network reported right. that he was going to be Treasury Secretary, but Jamie Dimon privately said he despised Donald Trump, okay? Didn't like his policies, his trade policies, his attacks on immigrants. So hmm. um, these people think in their heart of hearts that he is erratic. Uh, and I think part of so this... So these meetings have a PR value. Well, part, yeah, and part of it is to teach the person, the, to try to tell the business community, yeah. well, he's not insane. Okay, real quickly, Goldman. And uh, a I, lot of Goldman t folks populating this cabinet. Another possible one, as uh, we've been reporting uh, on FoxBusiness.com, is Gary Cohn, the COO, uh, really looking for Wasn't a... Wasn't he being teased for the OMB? OMB? But we're here in energy as well now. And, really? uh, I mean, he's clearly looking for a landing pad. He wants out of Goldman. He's been twitching to get out, you know, itching to get out of uh, Goldman for a long time. Uh, and now I think he sees his, his landing pad being a, a high-level cabinet appointment. Uh, he was up there in Trump Tower earlier in the week. Uh, OMB was first floated. I actually never thought, I couldn't put OMB together with Gary Cohn because he's not like a CFO numbers crunching type. Uh, energy makes sense because he's a commodities trader. I mean, for all I know, he's going to get OMB or get nothing and stay at Goldman. Remember, but he's, he's still a reasonably young guy. What if these guys 57. get out of it? I mean, they don't need the money. Obviously, it's not about money anyway. Uh, it's a prestige. It's the, it's the prestige. I mean, listen, Gary Cohn wants to run something. He wants to be Lloyd Blankfein. He wants to be CEO. Lloyd Blankfein survived cancer and right. is probably going to stay there for another five years. And, and I don't think that Gary wants to wait five years. Uh, I mean, I think he wants to run something. And this is actually a pretty good landing pad, pad if he gets OMB, particularly if he gets energy. I mean, that's kind of a big job, being the energy yeah. secretary. And running that department is a big thing. And then that would be a great uh, cap well, on his career. Well, look at Wilbur Ross. I think he will transform the Commerce Department. It'll be interesting. We'll he will be... not be your traditional... And he's a smart guy, you know that? Smart. And he understands both trade... He understands uh, taxes and regulatory policy. I mean, that's a. I mean, this is kind of a. A lot of billionaires. Multi hundred well, million. Why do we care about billionaires? 
I don't know. I mean, I mean, I want more billionaires. I mean, do you yeah. want Jack Lew's running around the, uh, the White House? I mean, Jack Lew was the Treasury Secretary. Money for doesn't define well, intellect. Listen, Jack Lew was the, the Treasury Secretary for yes. President Obama. He right. spent, he had a cup of coffee at Citigroup in a, in a very controversial part of the department that helped lead to the destruction of Citigroup and made a, a, a chunk of money out of it. Right. I mean, do we want so that? I'm glad you dialed up the word that I think you were thinking. Okay, but do we want that? Or do we no, want I don't know. Wilbur I'm Ross, who earned his money? I'm the observation that there are a lot of rich people. What, my big thing with Donald is two things. It's number President one. President-elect. President-elect Donald Soon is the uh, president. President-elect uh, apprentice. It's like Mayor Bill de Blasio. Okay, here's the thing. I, comrade Bill. Uh, Mayor Bill. Uh, uh, Donald is light years better than him. But, okay. you know, it's the Goldman Sachs. Do we want so many Goldman Sachs guys running around? That's a question. And right. this, all this trade stuff and, and spending stuff on right. infrastructure, that could be problematic going forward. Okay. Yep. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. All right. Thank you, my friend. Anytime. Great weekend. Charlie you Gasparino. Too.